Hey, you guys, it's been about a week since I uploaded. I'm sorry, but I've been busy. I've been hard at work and there's a lot to talk about. But today, this episode, I'm going to be talking about once more and for the last time I'm done AR on the Quest 3. In a previous video, I had said that the pass through was good for some people, a blown out mess for me. And the community, as it often is, was very quick to point out, you need more lights or turn down the brightness on your screen. And that's fine. That's true. If you're having a bad experience, doing that will improve your experience every time. It will always make it better. The problem is, is that a lot of people, myself included, we have the lights on and the screen brightness is low. We can see it if we turn down to five or 10%, but a lot of people are reporting that they don't have to do that. And so there's this hiccup where one faction of the community is saying it works fine for me. You guys are just doing something wrong. And another faction of the community is saying I'm doing everything the way everyone else is. Why is my experience different? Now, a few things happened. I pulled a Hail Mary and I did a factory reset again, probably my seventh or eighth at this point. And wouldn't you know it, that factory reset resulted in better clarity. This video is not going to be an explanation as to why that happened. I don't have one. I'm only offering you my experience with zero solutions. I, I don't know what I, I can tell you what other people are hypothesizing, but I'm not able to replicate it. And there's more it gets it gets weird. So the lighting in my room for my videos, it's it's grown and changed over over the past few months. Okay, it's brighter now than it was a month ago. But when I'm playing when I'm using VR, the lighting is always the same. My phone, my iPad, my laptop were blown out and I couldn't really see them with all the lights on with all the lights off. And granted, if I brought the, the brightness down to 5%, I could, I could see it. I could see it okay from, you know, a foot or two, which is, is fine. But other people report that they don't have to do that. And that's where this conversation came from. I'm not trying to be apocalyptic. I'm not trying to sensationalize an issue that doesn't exist. I'm simply sharing my experience and an experience that's being broadcast by a lot of people, which is why I'm talking about it. In fact, I took this new footage through the phone. And let me clarify, when I did this last factory reset, I don't know what build I was on, but it brought me to build 59. That was several days ago. I assume I'd been on 59 this whole time. Some people have wondered if when you power on the headset, do the cameras calibrate? Maybe when you do a factory reset and you power it on for the first time, does it calibrate a certain way? If you're in a dark room and you power it up, does it kind of set the stage for how your cameras are going to behave? That seems fair, but I can't replicate that. I've tried it several times. I had hypothesized that maybe not every camera is the same, or I, I was even going so far as to suggest that maybe the cameras are being installed by hand and someone is being negligent and popping in the camera with, without a glove. I mean, that might explain the blooming, the light that we see that, but the fact that this is the same headset, I don't have a replacement yet, and now my experience is good, it means that it's that's not the case. But I might have implied it, and it was a little careless of me. A lot of people feel that way. A lot of people believe that that's the case, but they don't have a YouTube channel, and I do. I consider myself kind of a, a mouthpiece for those people. I'm on Reddit a lot talking to these guys, and they felt the same way I did. And yet here I am with the same headset I've had this whole time. And now my experience is good. I can't tell you what solved it. This isn't going to be a terribly helpful video. I just want to explain where I'm coming from and what my experience has been and what other people are experiencing. In fact, in the interim, I took footage through the lens and I'll show it to you here of my new experience looking at the computer and I can see it fine. I also took the time to record it with all the lights on, all the lights off. Granted, having all the lights off makes for 
a lesser experience, but I can still see it. Like brightness, 100%, all the lights off in a dark room, I can still see the computer. I can see my iPad reasonably well, much better than I could two weeks ago, a month ago. And I posted that to Reddit and it's filled with people saying, what the crap, mine doesn't look like that which is where I was a week ago when I made that video. It went so far that a lot of people even accused me. <laughs> they accused me of taking, I, I don't know how, but a headset with no front and just an empty lens and pointing a camera through it so that it wasn't like footage from the Quest 3. It was just me like blindly recording through, through glass. That's what they thought. Which is funny because for the number of people that suggested that I had faked this footage, it, it shows where they're coming from and what their experience is like. Now, I told them, turn on all your lights. It makes it a little bit better. But I'm talking to myself, too, because a week ago, my experience was, I mean, I didn't think anyone was faking it, but you saw that footage of that guy with the computer. In fact, I went out of my way. I, I found the desktop background that he had and I, I, I put it on my computer. I wanted to replicate his experience as best I could. I wanted to see if I could get there. And I, I, I couldn't, it was blown out. And the, the reset, the factory reset, it, it, it did something for me. Now, I'm not gonna be the first to tell you to do a factory reset. If you go to Meta and say, hey, I can't see anything, the first thing they do is tell you, perform a factory reset. I can't tell you why or, or how that might affect it, except to say that they clearly think that if there's an issue, it's software related and a reset may help. I don't know why in my case, a sixth or seventh reset did the trick, but it did. And I didn't wanna make this video without coming to you and saying, I found it. This is the answer. This is why. But I, 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 I can't pinpoint it. I, I tried booting it with the, the glass uh, of, over the cameras covered to introduce it to the world in dark and then expose it to my computer. I tried booting it with it up against a bright light so that it was blown out to start and maybe that might result in, maybe it's calibrating every time we start the headset, but that didn't do it either. No matter how I started it and in whatever quality of light I, I used, the result was always roughly the same. Meaning that I can use my computer in a pitch black room just fine. Granted, icons are a little more blown out than usual, a little bit, but miles ahead of what I was dealing with before. And granted, you have all your lights on and I can see those icons a lot better. But that post I made on Reddit, I mean, it, it's got hundreds of, of comments and many of them are, are envious of the, the footage I shared. And I only say that to say that I know that you're watching this and you're thinking, oh, well, my headset looks fine and you just need more lights. You're you're right, we need more lights. I mean, it improved my situation. It Icons are less blown out if you're not in a dark room. But for all those people to say that my footage was fake, <laughs> I mean, I just don't know what to do with that. This video, I just, I wanna put it behind me. I, I have to, I have so many things I have to do. I got a bunch of just like so many new accessories and head straps to review. I've got a new gun stock coming and there's a lot that has to be done. And I wish that this was resolved. The answer, I'm sorry to say, in my experience, if you're having a crummy view, if, if your phone is blown out, and I have to say that my computer, I can see fine from even back there, okay? It's a big screen though. But if you're looking at an iPad or a phone, then yeah, for, for clarity and to see the icons for what they are, I have to be a foot from it, okay? But that's better than I had before, better than I had before. So if you're thinking that you can look at your phone from two, three feet away, that's, at least in my case, that's not happening. So your expectations should be metered somewhat 
But I'm just saying, telling people, turn on all your lights, if that doesn't give you the clarity I'm showing here, then a factory reset may be necessary. An RMA doesn't look like it's gonna do anything and it seems unnecessary. And I didn't wanna give the impression, just leaving that video previously floating on the internet, that there was some kind of a hardware issue when now I have this experience and I just, I don't have a good answer, but it's better than nothing. So I would suggest playing with it. Feel free to, you know, find me on Discord. We have, it's linked in the bio. If you wanna share your through the lens footage, um, you know, I'm sure that the community would love to see it. And uh, I can tell you that uh, in a, in that previous video, a guy got a hold of me out of the Netherlands and he actually works in the VR space. And he told me that he was about to be in possession of about 10 headsets. And hey, this is a great opportunity. I'll, I'll look through all of them and see, see what it looks like. He does say that of the 10 headsets he's got, each of them varied wildly in the same room with the same light, same conditions. Uh, some just handled light differently than the others. That doesn't mean that every headset is busted or built differently. It probably means that in his situation, in his circumstances, the cameras are just calibrated differently. I, I don't know more than that. I, I can't, I can't even begin to contemplate, but it seems like whatever's happening there for so many people, yes, more lights in your room. Yes. Lower the brightness on your phone if you want to see it better, but you should be able to see your desktop at full brightness, even in the dark, with some admittedly blown out icons. And if that's not happening for you, if it's completely unusable, then a factory reset may be the way to go. And I, I can't tell you more than that, but I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Uh, I wanna put this to bed. I wanna be done with it. I gotta do these other reviews. I, I don't wanna focus on this. It's just, there's this outcry online. Reddit is filled with it. The Facebook groups with Oculus, it's just, Everyone's talking about it every day. And so, yes, my experience was kind of a bummer like a week or two ago. I was just not really enjoying the pass through and it's a lot better now. And so I just, I feel like I have to touch on it, you know, and that's where I'm at. So next video I make will be uh, centered on head straps and Asgard's Wrath 2 is about to drop. And I am super excited for that. Mateo 311 talked me into it. My God, I am pretty excited for it so here's to that thank you guys for watching sorry for the drama but i just i gotta do what i gotta do and i hope you guys understand let me know hit me up on discord please comment please subscribe please like this video because it helps with the algorithm you guys can find me on patreon thank you to my patreon subscribers and my youtube members uh i can't really do this without you and i appreciate it thank you for putting up with me and i'll catch you guys next time you've been watching bring hers to vr